How's it going, everyone? So I have been so busy. It just, it's like endless work. Anyways, all 15 have been completed. Um, there's three that are complete. We're going to get to testing later on in the week. I have to do all these levels uh, today, the third level. So I'm going to lay those out next. Um, also today, as you can see, there's no primary on here. So we're going to get to doing that. I'm going to make a video on how the SMKJ transformers are properly tuned. So basically, we're going to take a wound secondary and I'm going to unwind it. I'm going to measure the length of the wire. Then I'm going to divide it by an even division to what fits. So whatever harmonic it's going to work at uh, so that the winding fits on the transformer core. So say if this was 300 feet, we would do like a 30 times reduction and this would be 10 feet. And it'd be a 30 to 1. So it'd be like the 29th harmonic or some shit that it'd be operating on. Anyways, we're going to get to that later on today. Videos will be made public of exactly how I've determined these wire lengths. And uh, when I fire it up, the primary will operate at fundamental resonant frequency uh, determined by the length of wire. And the secondary will operate in harmonic resonance if they're in even division. Okay, so that would become then a resonant, resonant, uh, a resonance, resonant transformer. So not just operating in resonance. As soon as you apply a ZVS to this, the transformer will operate in resonance on the primary side. And the secondary will be at whatever the frequency of the length of the wire is. So, uh, if you balance that correctly, you're going to get the best possible return. All right, so that's coming today. Uh, I'm going to start laying out all the rest of these components. These guys showed up uh, the first batch, so I have. Um, there's two of these. These are 20 mega ohm bleed off resistors. 10 watt. Two of them are going to go on each. So we're going to put those clips on. They're going to get fastened on there. And that'll uh, ensure safety when the device is shut off. That these large caps will deplete and be empty. Safe to touch. So that's important. They're here. I have 30 more coming. They'll be here today or tomorrow. And uh, that's the last component I was waiting on. There's actually only about six bolts that I'm waiting on for these capacitors. They're an, eight, an M8, 10 millimeter or 12 millimeter length with a uh, like a flat washer on them kind of deal. So I've got a handful of those still waiting to arrive. But aside that, all the rest of the materials are here. Uh, everything for these top layers. So I'm going to lay them out. I do have one laid out here. Uh, I'm still working and finalizing the arrangement, but uh, that's basically a rough idea of how it's going to be. This was the original. So these are 400 watts. These can handle up to three kilowatts. That's why I've uh, gone with these. Um, these are quite expensive. They, uh, they were reasonable when I first bought them, but they've doubled the price over six weeks ago so i expect they're even more now i haven't checked and then it's eight weeks to get them and all the nonsense it's just easier for me to build a better one a proper one the way it's supposed to be yada 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 anyways just an update video of all the work i've done here and it has been tremendous there is not just a little bit of work to these things and we'll show it to you here so you can see there's quite a bit of work you can see i've had to scoop a couple so those are coming they'll be here this week but um all in all they're good to go so i have uh, enough material to build another 15 of these machines so a total of 30 but uh aside that I i'm probably not going to build any more because they're just too time consuming and uh, the rewards for me and the time invested just are not there, you know. I do make something, but it's very minor compared to the investment. All right, guys, have a great day. 
and we'll chat soon.